In this video, I'm going to talk about your seed sense setup for your GPS and your crop setup if you have a John Deere split row planter, something like a John Deere 1790. So first you want to go to setup and the planter. I we need to make sure that the planter here is set for the number of rows correctly. In this case, I'm going to do the 32 row, the spacing and the active rows. This page you want to set for how the planter actually physically is. So it's actually a 15 row planter when all rows are being used. Then I'll go to the GPS setup and the planter. And here I need to make sure that the frame type is set correctly. So on this planter, it's a dual rear frame type. Then I need to take these measurements and make sure that I input those accurately. So you're going to be measuring the wheel distance, the seed exit one, which is the rows that are closer to the tractor, the seed exit two, the rows that are farthest back. Then I need to make sure when I'm entering those numbers that I say whether the rows closest are the even numbered rows or the odd numbered rows. So on a John Deere 1223 or 1631, B is going to be odd. So I'm going to enter the measurement, whatever that may be, and that's going to be odd. On the seed exit 2, that's the longer of the two measurements, those are going to be the even rows. So this again is 1631 or 1223. Then the D and E measurements are both going to be 0, and I'll show you where to enter those on the crops tab in a minute. If it's a 1224 or 1632, like I'm doing in this example, then things are different with it. Now, I want you to verify on your planner that this is accurate because there is some cases where it may be different, but for the most part, if I have an even number of rows, 1224 or 1632, seed exit one, the ones closer to the tractor are gonna be the even rows, and seed exit two, the ones farther away, are gonna be the odd rows. In this case, D and E might change for corn and beans if I'm using a hitch offset. So we're going to make those setups in the crops tab. So I'm going to hit enter on this page, go home, setup, crops. You can see right now I'm set up for soybeans. The important settings on this page is the seeds per disc is accurate for how many uh, seeds my disc can hold. In this case, I'm using V-Set, so there's two options with V-Set and soybeans, either the 80 cell or the 56 cell. We're going to choose 80. The default population should be set for whatever population I want to plant if I'm using a prescription and I get outside of a prescription zone. So 160,000 is accurate for what I want to do. And the active rows is set to all because I'm going to be planting with all rows with my soybeans. In the advanced adjustments, this is where I'm going to set the offset distance D and E. So for my 1224 or 1632 John Deere, D is going to be 0 and E is going to be a negative 15. So I've entered 15. You can see it, it wasn't negative, so I need to press the flip button here at the top, hit enter, and now I have negative 15. Now that would have been for corn, so I want to show you what it would be for soybeans. For soybeans, typically I'm going to run a hitch offset, so it's going to be 7.5 and negative 7.5. All right, so now I have my soybeans set properly. So I'll change the crop and make sure that my corn's set up properly. That way when I go to change crops, all I have to do is change the active crop and all the settings will be correct. Again, I want to make sure my seeds per disc is accurate, my default population, and then active rows. So active rows needs to be what rows I'm using to plant corn in this case. So again, a 1224 or 1632, the corn rows are going to be the even rows most likely. But if it was a 1223 or 1631, it's going to be the odd rows most likely. So I'm going to choose even. 
And then again, I need to go to the advanced adjustments, offset distance D, in this case is zero. Offset distance E is that negative 15. So I'll hit flip to get the negative. Now I see D is zero, E is negative 15. Now I can hit enter there. I can go home and there's a place that I can verify that these settings are correct. If I go back again to my setup and then systems, GPS, planter. On this side, you'll have either V drive or row flow set up, depending what you have on your planner. Here you can see a pictorial representation of how the planner looks. And you want to verify that this is correct for your planner. So I can see here that my even rows are closer to the tractor, my odd rows are farther away, and that my extra row, if you want to call it that, is over here on the left hand side. Again, you want to make sure that this is how your planner actually physically is, matches this picture. If you have questions, give us a call at Precision Planning Product Support or call your local Premier Precision Planning dealer. Thank you.